and also my customers, the, the telephone number and their addresses, and he's asked people to boycott my business and to even make verbal and written complaints to my clients to stop buying from me. And he says this is to teach me a lesson for joining AWARE because I'm a Christian. I am shocked. Singapore is a multiracial society. We embrace diversity in religion. My religion is a private matter. It's got nothing to do with my work in AWARE. And I joined AWARE because I've been asked to help AWARE set up a social enterprise to create employment for women, especially women with uh, uh, singles with children, unmarried women, and uh, women who are lowly educated. And I come in to create employment for them. I did not expect to be on the hate list, hate list and then my life and my staff's lives are also in danger. What is happening to our society right now? What is happening? Can someone explain this irrational and dangerous move by some uh, small group of people? Maureen has something to add to. Uh, mine is not as bad as that. You know? But really, uh, we have been trying very hard to get on with the work. Uh, and we have been hampered from doing so. Uh, we have received numerous complaints from uh, people who are trying to register as members. Either they cannot get into the website, or they get replies from the website saying that grown women are registered as students. In the first place, there's no category called student membership. You're either an ordinary member who can vote, or you're an associate member who cannot vote. So we really don't know what is happening. And when we ask the website host company uh, for further information, we are told that we cannot ask them or ask them to, for information because they only will communicate with either Constance Singham or Tan Lee, who is no longer with AWARE, or Joanna Wong, which is uh, the PR assistant. So there is no recognition of us, either the president, the vice president, or any of the new EXCO members. Uh, there's also an issue of the bandwidth. When we checked further, why there was difficulty in accessing the website, we were told that the bandwidth was only uh, five gigabytes, and that is quite uh, ridiculous for an association like AWARE. And because of that, the, the website was down from the 18th of April to the 19th of April. Uh, and uh, then the website, the bandwidth was increased. So these are some of the instances when we try very hard to do our work, and yet, you know, we are hampered from doing so. Thank you. Members of the press, we have given you brief statements of uh, experiences working with uh, uh, AWARE for the last three and a half weeks. And the next point, what we want to do is that Josie will address to tell you more about what is AWARE today. Now, what's AWARE today? What does it stand for? Frankly, not many people know because it's been kept to such a small group of people. As of end of last December, it was only about some 260 plus people. Now you're wondering why Dr. Theo Sumian is here today? I think I will leave it to her to tell you her perspective of what's going on with AWARE. Good evening. I'm here as feminist mentor to the women in the workplace. In the last 10 years, I've been uh, mentoring women so that they become uh, released into society to contribute to society. And it's not an easy task to get women because of the work balance to contribute. Having found this group of women quite a disparate group because I teach all over Singapore and a council all over Singapore, training people. And I was able to get them interested in things of the public square. I'm outraged, I'm absolutely outraged that when a group of women take time off to contribute to society, they get this kind of 
ferocious attack. I don't understand. I don't understand what has become of our people. In my counselling practice, I find that many of our young men and women are suffering from very severe wounds and hurts. They're very wounded, they're very hurt. And there's this rage that's in them that needs to be dealt with. But I never expected the degree and the level of attack on people who wish to serve the community. So I'm just wondering what is the cause of this ferocity in attacking people. And I believe that is because they are pointing out that there is an agenda in AWARE. AWARE was formed 26 years ago by my friends, my contemporaries. And it's done great work in so many areas. And in 1998, I think the membership was about uh, 700 odd. They were doing very well. And suddenly in 2006, it sort of declined to 07, 8, declined to 200 odd people. And in 2008, there was a AGM where they sought to introduce, to give men the vote in a women's organization, where the objective is to represent all the women of Singapore and not a small proportion of women. And you know that women form about 50% of our population. So we must focus our attention on the promotion of the rights of women. And to my horror, I found that they want to introduce men into a woman's society. And, and the, the very strange thing was that at that meeting, there were only 25 members who turned up for that meeting, the AGM 208. So I started looking into the affairs of awareness of what's happening to this organization, which my friends have set up. And not only have they set it up, and my, photo, my, my name is in here, one of the women to be honored, because I was a pioneer feminist. I was first law dean. In subsequent years, probably a female woman who runs one of the largest law firms in Singapore. But I sit on the boards of many public listed companies. I was also at one time uh, a member of the Asian Development Bank Tribunal. And I, I, I was also a judge of the World Bank. I served it for eight years and retired as senior vice president of the World Bank Administrative Tribunal. And I believe it gives me some standing to speak about this because, you see, in CEDAW, there's this thing about promoting women into positions of leadership. And under CEDAW, there is this 30 to 35 percent rule, which I thought, wow, we have a legal document whereby we can promote the cause of women, bring all the young women into leadership positions. But with the economic crisis, there's also this desire to help those who are disadvantaged. When women and men are entrenched, we want to make sure that not the women are entrenched. There needs to be an even hand in this. So there are many, many issues that we need to look to. And I find to my dismay that AWARE seems to be only very interested on lesbianism and the advancement of homosexuality, which is a men's issue. And how it came under AWARE is quite covert. The matter came to my attention when uh, AWARE sponsored uh, the film Spider Lilies. Spider Lilies is a film by two of two lesbians who uh, fell in love. One is a tattooist and the other one is a virtual sex worker. When a parent saw this film and found your soft pornography, he wrote to Today and he asked, why is Aware showing this film? Because he's got a teenage daughter and it, it, it really troubled him. And lo and behold, the response of Constance Singham is that this is part of a comprehensive sexual education. 